Hey everyone, today's topic is how to adjust the Ken Burn effect. The Ken Burns effect creates a pan and zoom effect using the start and end position you define. The Ken Burn effect is actually a crop effect with two crop settings, one at the clip start and another at its end. Let's see how to do that. So first of all, select a clip in Final Cut Pro timeline and then click on this pop-up menu and select crop. And over here, select this option, Ken Burns. When I click that, you guys are gonna see two rectangles. One is green and another is red. So to choose the part of the image that appears at the start of the effect, simply drag the green handles to change the crop size of image and drag the window to set it position. So I can do that. I can simply do like this. I want like go over here and then simply you can do the same thing with the red triangle. I'm going to do that. You can simply move it over here and I'm going to change the position right over here. And then once you are done, you can simply click on done and you can play it on the loop. So if I play this, you guys can see how my effect is going to look like. So that's it. And if you guys want to swap, so simply what you can do is simply you can click on the swap button right over here. Let me show you. Let me pause this thing. And if you click on this, it will swap the start and end. You can again play in loop how it's going to look like. If you guys have any questions, please comment below and I'm going to respond to that. Also, stay tuned for more videos on Final Cut Pro. Thank you.